What is going on everybody? The electric, just a single electric. Come back to you guys with another video. My better half is actually at home doing some work right now. So I decided I'm gonna go out and get the food for our little video tonight that we're gonna be doing. You guys seem to really, 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 really like these fast food battles that we've been doing. So I decided to switch it up in this video. I'm gonna be going out to get some sandwiches from Subway and Jersey Mike's. Now what I want you guys to do right now down below in the comments is let me know what team you are. Are you team Subway or are you team Jersey Mike's? When it comes down to me, I'm team Subway, but who knows, maybe my mind will change tonight. We'll see what happens. It's time to get some food. 12 seconds later. Alrighty guys, $20 and 30 minutes later, we got our sandwiches. Now it's time to go to Subway. A few moments later. Uh, is this gonna be a turkey? Turkey with American cheese. Do you guys have the flatbread sandwiches? Yeah, we do. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those too. We'll do ham, provolone on that. See the guy that, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> you look familiar. <laughs> this, this isn't... This yeah, is yeah. Is yeah. Tomatoes, and that's gonna be it for that one. And then I'll get one chocolate chip, and then one oatmeal recipe, please. All right, you can do three for the same price, they're probably taking them free. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, then let's do chocolate chip, a raspberry cheesecake, and an oatmeal recipe. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna have to come in and try to do that. Uh, my friend did a hundred, he did a hundred dollar Subway sandwich. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, <laughs> if you guys enjoy to do that, but. I mean, yeah, there's, Good. It would have to be like 33 portions of meat. Or, <laughs> I guess like 30 portions of meat. That's but, insane. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we got the goods. Now, it's time to go home and eat. Meanwhile. So do you guys like our new setup? This is our this is our official new, I like uh, it. We have uh, actual like TV tables that like go up. She, unfortunately, there's no room for Tate's. Oh, she's, oh, she's definitely. Come, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Do that. So, guys, we have sub. I'm sorry. We have Subway, and we have. Have you ever had Jersey Mike's before? I haven't. You've never had Jersey Mike's? Okay, you are so dramatic. Every Babe, we're time. doing fast food battles, and you've like literally never had. I guess it's actually big good. Nose out of here. Remember what happens when you feed the dog. I can't feed her anything. She's gonna stick in her big nose over here. Hi. If you want close, you have to get up and snuggle. Come on. Look at her. Tinsy, come here. So, anyways, we're doing oh a fast food battle of. Why is my hair? Why is there like. Oh my gosh, it's not my hair. It's the camera focusing around. I thought there was like a piece of my hair, but it's the square that's focusing on my face. Your beautiful face. Hopefully, I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are having a great day whenever you're seeing this. Uh, we're having an absolutely magical day. Magical. Uh, it's Friday, and we thought we'd bring you guys a fast food battle. So, again, if you guys haven't already, comment down below with which your team is. If you're Team Subway or if you're Team Jersey Mike's. So we also have Quiznos, but I haven't seen Quiznos. I love Quiznos! So much enthusiasm. No, Quiznos is good. Like, there are veggies on there. I haven't seen a really Quiznos good. in literally like 10 years. I don't know if they're in business anymore. I don't know if they are either. I would think, I like Jimmy John's. I've never had Jimmy John's. <gasps> You've never had Jimmy John's? I live in San Diego, California. You think, if you think, I don't think if you they think have Jersey, there would be a place named Jimmy John's in San Diego, California, they, you are, you need to like go. I don't know if they have Jersey Mike's in Idaho. Probably not. So, hmm. Hmm. Mm. What's that you're drinking over there? You know, I was on my way out of Subway and I got a text from I somebody texted I know you? saying, saying, I'm not feeling so good. Would you get me some kombucha? I should have been, I should have actually asked you, did you want an organic? Do you want um, low sugar? Babe, I sent that text to you as soon as you walked out the door. So the fact that you ignored me until after you left Subway really says something. Did you know that Subway has really, 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 really bomb cookies? Yes, oh, do. goodness yes, gracious. And they were three for one. And guess who got three for one? I did. And it was funny because the guy that three gave me the Subway- Three for one dollar or three for one cookie? Clarify. 
Fi. What does that mean? Well, I, I, can't, I can't remember what I was just saying. Something about the guy in the store and the cookies. <laughs> the guy who gave you the cookies. Yes, the gentleman that gave me the cookies was actually in my supercharged subway challenge and he was oh, poor guy. Yeah, he was like, dude, that was insane. I was like, yeah, I know. And he was in it, was he like, oh yeah, balling? Uh, no, he's actually kind of one of those guys that's like super attentive to his job and like, oh. I'll not, you know, like those people in customer service that are like so into their job that like they don't want to actually like be a human. It, nothing against this guy, he's actually super cool. But he was just like super like, okay, back to making the sandwich. What kind of turkey would you want? Kind of cheese. Okay. Tonight he was like that. Yeah, or, just, oh. well, yeah, he was like that too in the first challenge that I did. Yeah, I don't. I, did you know me? Were you even filming for it? Yeah. Because I was being like kind of. I have to be like low key when I like walk around with the camera and pretend like I'm actually not filming. People get weird. Yeah, people are very weird when it comes to filming. Is that um, a flatbread? This is a flatbread. I do like their flatbread. So there, when I travel, Subway breakfast sandwiches. You can do like egg whites. So that is the flatbread right there. We got turkey. I got ham and I got provolone. I think. Um, this is a, we are, uh, this is a turkey and cheese sandwich too. Basically guys, turkey and cheese sandwiches are like a basic thing to get did, at. Did you put tomatoes on the, on the jersey mics? Well, I did. You can take the tomatoes off. What do you guys put on your sandwiches too? You guys can tell well, us. The thing is, is that once there's tomatoes on it, it kind of like contaminates. You know how many times I've sat through you whenever we're sharing a salad or something? And you contaminated it with your no, garlic? You con you, no, you contaminated it with your stupid avocado. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't even disagree with that. She knows I'm right. Am I going to do that? Did you really get chips? Babe, it's a, it's, what did you get whenever you, what did you get whenever you go to like a sandwich place as a kid? Sun chips. Oh, sun chips are bomb. I, I got some onions and then okay. sun chips. Um, I got a wrap. Are, are we doing a thumbnail? Yeah, we're going to do a thumbnail in a second. I got a Caesar wrap from Jersey Mike's. And I got a Ooh, like um, a Caesar salad wrap. Yeah. Ooh. So I got a Caesar wrap, and then I got a basically like the same thing I got separate. And they package it in like five thousand bags. And guys, please, we get that there's a lot of packaging here in America, but it's not our fault. I don't it ask is them. It's not our fault. I mean, like a society, it's our fault. But like me, I'm not gonna go, dude. Stop putting extra. Like it's just not. It's, it's, it's yeah. You get it. Hopefully you do. The presentation of the Jersey Mike's are honestly always, oh, wow. always wins though. I feel they, like Subway like smashes them down. Yeah, Subway doesn't really give about their. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? What kind of I'm tired. It's been a long week. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what it looks like from Subway. Can I unwrap this one? You can wrap anything you want. Ooh. I'm trying to mail it again, but I'm... Oh, okay, so that's the wrap. It's kind of gooey, so I'm not going to pick it up. It's gooey. We'll see it here in a second. Is that a napkins? Uh, no. Uh, yes. So actually, the Subway sub doesn't look too bad. We have turkey, cheese. I think I got provolone on this. And tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Um... And then we got our wrap right here. Do you know what my favorite combination is? Turkey, pickles, olives, mustard, <laughs> <laughs> and, and lettuce. <laughs> Actually, I can do the lettuce. Mustard is disgusting. It's like his three worst favorite things. Like, I worst really... favorite things? It's your three. <laughs> <laughs> It's his <laughs> three weeks. Because <laughs> it, it's another level when it's your worst favorite thing. <laughs> you my, just you should have invented something new right there. My, my favorite sandwiches are made up of his least three. His least likes. I don't know. How least likes his, things. His, your most hated. I would his, say most hated. His three most hated food choices. Pickles, olives, and mustard. <laughs> Crazy. I found a company that was there and their protein bars are the best I've ever had and they were so kind enough. Oh, do you want to do these really quick? I mean, these are definitely not protein bars, but I, I thought I'd get them bars. for this video. So these are definitely not protein bars, but I saw them at Walmart today and they are the new limited edition Butterfingers and I'm super excited about them. I was gonna like, close the box and there we go. Okay, so these are the good people at Jimmy Protein Bars. And they sent me an entire box. No, I'm gonna struggle to open it. 
protein bars. Ooh, and so we are going to taste test. And um, there's a discount code for everybody below. In yeah, the that'll be in the description. You guys can for 15 percent off. 15 percent off. Just so you guys know, it's currently like 60 degrees outside. P I M T. 65 degrees. I cannot believe you just said that. I cannot believe you just said that. <laughs> Babe, what do we start with first? Three weeks later. Alrighty, guys. So uh, that was a process. That was a process. I think that thumbnail. Do you think we should start with like the wraps first? I kind of want to start with the Butterfinger. We're not gonna start with the Butterfinger. You're such a weirdo. Why am I weird? You don't start eating. I just haven't eaten anything in a while and I just feel like I'm gonna really enjoy the new flavor of Butterfinger. Your wish is my command, all right, all right. So these are the new limited, uh, well actually they're not limited edition, they're just the new recipe. New recipe of Butterfingers. Okay. Oh, my, yeah, Already my in, oh here. mine's broken. All right, here we go. Tastes like a butterfinger. Just the same. So that, my friends, is the inside. Honestly, it tastes just like a butterfinger. I don't taste any difference at all. No. This one for focus. All. Nobody wants to see us anyway. I don't think I've ever asked you. Are you? Are you like? Are you a fan of Subway? Like, would you ever eat there as a kid? Mm -hmm. So, I said. I already said what I was gonna be team at the beginning of the video when I was getting the food. So what team are you? Say the, the I'm gonna like this wrap, so I'm gonna go with Jersey Mike's. Your team Jersey Mike's. Okay, well we're gonna try out. I've never, I've, I've never been, so I don't know. This is a first. So this is the wrap right here. This is the, it's actually a flatbread wrap. So. I love flatbread wraps. Flatbread is my favorite. Joseph's flatbread, so good. It's pretty plain, but. It gets the job done. It needs mustard. Hey? Stupid mustard. Since you would like a little piece of meat. Of course she would. Of course she would. Go Wait, babe, I don't know. The, 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 the nitrates in this meat might do something to her sensitive stomach. She'll be okay. The one thing I just love about Subway is that they're consistent. Any store that you go, like, you know exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah. Like, I love it. Um, except the bread's like literally what you said earlier. It's always smashed. Yeah, it's always smashed. I usually get a flatbread or I get the whole wheat. So, wrap. that is the Caesar wrap right there. Caesar. Ooh, that's good presentation. Ooh, ooh. Look at snap. that. So, we got that Caesar wrap right there. Um, I love cheers, Caesar wraps. I do too. Three, two, one. Cheers. That's really good. You don't like it? It's like a watery, it's like a watery Caesar dressing. Which means it's probably not as bad. It's got, know, it's got good Caesar taste. It's like a watery Caesar. I don't know, it's weird. I don't, I, I mean, it's got decent taste. Like the chicken is chicken really, is really good. Chicken is fire. Our chicken is really good. Chicken is very good. But yeah, from a taste perspective, I'm just not digging it. I think it's good. I'd make my own, but. Better than the flat wrap. I gotta get some. Uh, I gotta get some of this, these chips right here. Always gotta have chips in your life, okay? Chips are everything. You ever like baked, baked chips as a kid? I never really had them. They're baked. They're sixty-five percent less fat, and they're still potato chips. Oh, that's very low. That's crazy. I can't believe our dog is eating baked lace. He likes them. Your face. Your face. My dog. Now I was thinking we could read some comments or we could answer some juicy questions. Let's do juicy questions. She wants to do juicy <clears throat> questions. I had so many people today on my Instagram story ask me what underwear I wear at the gym. And I, I think it was majority of girls asking me. I was like, why is everybody so obsessed with my underwear today? Name a video you and Christy plan on doing in the future. I feel like we kind of come up with this stuff on the fly. So, I don't know. That's not really juicy. Well, I mean, people aren't like really descriptive with their questions. They just go, you and Christy, food challenge. You and Christy, 
Make love. <laughs> what made you guys want to start YouTube together? I remember I didn't really know what YouTube was. Well, like I knew what it was, but until we actually met, and then you came out to Texas and we saw a lot of behind the scenes and we started doing live streams together while we were eating and you were like- It kind of just seemed like we were already doing it. Yeah, and he was like, let's make a channel. And then I feel like you got some like resistance by like from it because they were like, well, what if you and your girlfriend break up? Then what are you gonna do? Just because it was so new in our relationship. Like start this channel and then like a couple months yeah. later- You have to admit that'd out. be pretty awkward. It would be very awkward. Like, do you want to take over the channel? Do you like but, us to delete the but channel? But when we decided to do it, like, I think me and Eric both knew, like, when we met, like, this was it. So. Control R says, do do y'all shower together? Sometimes. I mean. Who doesn't? Save water. Yeah. Now, I don't pee in the shower when she's in the shower with me. Oh, I do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. you, you literally, like, my heart would. <laughs> If, if I had to? Like, I mean, I wouldn't, I, honestly, I don't think it's that awkward. I don't think. As long as you point your stream like away from me. <laughs> and I don't smell anything. You're if I, just if, like, like no. if you ate some mad funky asparagus the night before, <laughs> and you're about to shoot your stream in that shower, I'm gonna be very, very upset. So, Eric's not into golden showers, check. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Teens. Teens, you were a nosy little butt. So here's the thing with burritos and me. Doritos are like, and so I'm actually not gonna even Go. start. Cause I know if I start, I won't stop. So I'm gonna opt out for this one. When she starts, she won't stop. I love Doritos. Athena, you have a big noise. She loves Doritos though. Babe. I know. I can't I'm help it. I'm leaving this in the video. That's fine. <laughs> I'm leaving it in the video. You guys. You pick one. Okay. Does Christy's mom like you? My mom loves Eric. My mom loves you. Go away. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. Um, you drop food on the ground. Five second rule or throw it away. Eric will eat anything if it lands on the ground. It does not make a difference. Me, we have a dog. If anything lands on the, on the ground, it's like automatic hair pickup. So I do not eat anything that touches the ground. You've even actually had to like stop me from eating I've had to be like, Eric, do not eat that. Give it to me. I'm throwing it away. So. Because yeah. it would just like make me gag if I watched him do that. Yeah. How do you, oh, this is a good one. How do you feel about Christy being married and divorced already? You can be honest about this one. I don't think I've ever asked you this. How do I feel about you like, being married Like, how do you feel about me, me being already married and divorced? Uh, it makes me feel extremely special and oh. privileged because uh, you already know you've already gone through such a long time of like a relationship and being around somebody for such a long time. And uh, the fact that you're w willing to like re-enter into another relationship with a human being makes me feel like I'm a very special human being. Oh, that's very sweet. So. Oh, and we'll know. go into that in a future video maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll, if you guys want to see another Scandalous Q&A, let us know because we really want to- I like picking the questions. We're gonna do one more. One more? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does your macro count and diet account for sex as a caloric burn? I say extra cardio. True. If you guys want more Next scandalous Q&A's, like you guys gotta leave the questions down below. We're gonna pick all the scandalous questions on this YouTube video. If you guys are still watching up into this point, which I don't know if you guys are, but there you go. There's tomatoes. You know what, babe? I'll take them off. No, I just want, I'll just have the other half. I mean, have the... Okay. Ew, see, they're all slimy with tomato juice. See that, see that shark. Are you literally five? Yeah. I'm just I don't like it. <laughs> uh, oh. Ew. <laughs> Did you just to... have mustard juice it's... squirt all over the- <laughs> You're supposed to shake it before you give it to somebody. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm man, I love, I love this. Oh, Ew, that's like disgusting. Stop it, no. <laughs> Goodness, that's gross. Okay, look, I'm gonna make like a little mini sandwich. See? All right, let's do this. Oh, that one You're actually right. The tomatoes do not go with the sandwich at all. I normally I love tomatoes, they just don't go with this. Want tomato tea? This needs. No, she won't eat that. Mm. 
Oh, or no. The only thing the sandwich is missing is pickles. You ate it. She ate a vegetable. Nice job, Keith. Oh, well, tomatoes are fruits. It's a fruit. Mm. This sandwich is missing pickles and olives. Those and are lettuce. both disgusting. And I would get rid of the cheese, but that's just me. All right, well. Go get it. Um, I'm going to fed right now. If you want to jazz up a sandwich. Oh, what you got that's do a right good here? Yeah. Just put those chips, just like that. And for me, I put ranch on my sandwiches as a kid. You would. And then you get the crunch going. This is probably Teezy's favorite video that we've done because she's actually getting true. I'm sure that was really, really good. Woo! So weird. And now we have the Jersey Mike's sandwich right here. Now this does not have any tomatoes on it or any filth, as you would say. I would not say filth. That is definitely a word you use. And that piece here, go teens, you can have this one. It's contaminated me. You want to catch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the Jersey Mike's. Just try it without it. First bite, just try it without it. Okay, it's not even a fair comparison because the deli meat is really different. Honestly guys, the Subway game was just not good enough tonight because I'm about to say, or actually, you know what? We forgot to try their cookies. Oh, no. Forgot to try their cookies. It's right now guys, the, the battle for me, it's not it's not looking good for Subway. Oh, really? I was I was thinking because I really like turkey. Oh like wow. <laughs> really? I like the turkey. Alright guys. So we have, how about you try the white chocolate? Oh, this one's gonna be way too good. I have the oatmeal raisin though, and you love oatmeal I raisin. I love oatmeal raisin too. Okay. okay. Mm, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, trade. Now this one. Oh my oh, god. Oh my gosh. This one is so good. I've never had their oatmeal raisin. This is actually really good, and I hate raspberry too. And then we have the double chocolate chip cookie. I actually think this is normal chocolate chip. I don't know why I just wanted to say double, but. Mm, basic. Not very good. All right, guys, so we have a mountain of meat. Why did you just do that? Because I was getting, it's tempting her. That's why she's sitting right there. <gasps> that was so I'm sorry, but rude. I'm gonna eat my food. That was so rude. You looked right at her when you. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, no sprint. She's gonna get something later. She knows she is. All right, we're gonna take a two minute break and we'll be right back. Two hours later. And welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so low key confession I actually broke into every flavor and I've already tried them. I'm not gonna try the ones with caffeine in it. No, that's fine. I think there's only one with caffeine in it. So these are, no, don't open those. I have all these already open. They sent us a lot, but. So what, what did you do to these already? I already, whoops. I already tried them when they came in I couldn't wait. They were too comfortable. She took a bite out of each flavor. I did. I totally did. All right, this is the best one ever. Eye of the Tiger. It tastes like a Butterfinger. Oh. And it's funny because we have butterfingers in this video. Yes, we do. Is this what I've got in it? No. These are so good. You gotta show them the bar. Very, I, I don't think good. it tastes like a butterfinger. Oh, I do. It's like peanut butter caramel. That's like the flavor of it. Chocolate caramel peanut. How many flavors do they have? A lot. They've got a lot. So that's the eye of the tiger. This is the white coconut. All of their presentation on these are just like absolutely phenomenal. Oh man. It tastes like summer. Not a big fan of that one. Okay. Not a big fan. I like the coconut. I'm a huge fan of coconut though. You're not gonna like the lemon one, but their <laughs> lemon one. I'm not gonna bother trying it because I don't like lemon one. Great presentation. I already ate half of it. <laughs> their lemon one, the lemon flavor is so. Strong. White chocolate cafe latte. That one's got caffeine. Oh. Guys, I don't drink caffeine. So these are like legit 
energy bars. So this bar right here, the white chocolate cafe latte has equivalent to one cup of coffee in it. Oh, snap. And that's what they look like. They kill them with the This is the peanut butter crunch right here. This one looks really, really good. And normally, guys, I don't really like protein bars just because I like to have like get protein from like whole food sources, but they're so is... convenient. Yeah, one's actually really good. These are all like gluten free. It's a chocolate peanut butter right here. I think they're all gluten free. Oh Less wow! Less than five grams of sugar. Yeah, that one's good too. Huh? That one, guys, is amazing. Right there, that's my favorite one. Yeah, that one's really good. Did we already um, have the birthday one? I did. <laughs> The birthday one is so cute. It legit looks like a Rice Krispie treat. That one's really good. This is my favorite one. This is the one that caused me to buy the, the box of these at the expo. Yep. It favorite tastes one. just like a Rice Krispie treat. Now, I saved this last one for last because this one is plant protein. And um, it's very interesting. So, as you can see, I only took one bite out of it, not many, but it's absolutely great presentation. The flavor, before you try it, is white chocolate berry bliss. Plant protein, keep that in mind. That's actually really good. I like that. It took me by surprise, because when I took a bite out of it the first time, I didn't realize it was plant protein. So, anyway, thank you so much, Jimmy Bars. Yeah, um, uh, Jimmy Bars? Jimmy. Jimmy Bars. Guys, check them out. The link to their uh, products will be li linked in the description down below. And the discount code is Girl Hustle for 15% off. Girl Hustle. If you guys enjoyed the video, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know where you guys want us to go for the next little fast food battle. We like doing these. It's safe to say today, for me at least, my mind was changed. My mind changed. I, I started being a tub team Subway guy, but now for sub sandwiches, I'm Jersey Mike's. I'm gonna stick with what I know, and I like Subway. That's why they call it a battle, right guys? Let us know where you guys want us to go for the next fast food battle, and we'll be sure to go there. We love you guys very much. The Electrics.